So Jason is with Retro Nerds. Now, obviously, we're classic hits of the 80s and 90s. So 80s fans, our listeners, definitely yes. big time. Our sweet spot, the 80s. Gotta love the 80s. Growing up, watching the 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 early years of MTV. Oh. That's that's our our guilty pleasures. And the retro nerds bring all those videos uh-huh. to the stage with us. We actually perform to the videos. Oh, Billy wow. Idol, Cindy Lauper. Yeah, the Arrhythmics. Everything. Wow. Yeah, it's great. Oh, I saw a little bit of what you had on your um on your website. So you're coming to the Westport Playhouse February 3rd and 4th. So that's like, get yes. your tickets. Because I looked, you're getting sold out already. It's so close. And it's everybody so in close. town, you're you're from, you're from in St. Louis. You know, yeah. years ago, the Gold Tower at Westport was like the place to be. I know. And Westport Playhouse, it had an amazing run. Mm-hmm. And about 10 years ago, things kind of reorged mm-hmm. and that venue closed down. Well, now mm-hmm. over the past two years, they have revitalized that entire area. The, yeah, there's social, there's the social, uh, yeah. whatever that's called there. The, the Westport Social. That's it, Westport Social. I used to live right down the street from there. I used to love right. that area. And then, yeah, it just kind of kind of went down, Funny which bone. was sad. Train wreck. Yeah, I used to go see the, Yeah, I used to go see comedy there. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I love the Westport Plays. In fact, I saw Avenue Q there, which was fantastic. Excellent. Loved it. So it's a um, open is, bar. Yeah. Great sound system. It's completely new now, right? Video wall. It's amazing. Yeah. Everything's I, new. I can't wait. I want to see it. So I'm going to see you. I hope if I can even get in. I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, you are from. Your whole group is from St. Louis, right? We are, yeah. Um, all parts around in the surrounding community. And we brought in not only the four retro nerds, there's me and Jeff on drums, Mike on bass, and Jimmy on guitar, but we have a sax player and a um, Carolyn on You have to have saxophone vocals. if you're going to play 80s. I mean, it's exactly. big time for yeah. sax, right? <laughs> Charlie on keys. We I was going to say keys. percussion player. Mm-hmm. It's a whole show. And it's, again, it's a guilty pleasure show. We were listening to Sting and the police when we were growing up. And we're like, you yeah. know, that would go really well with a Peter Gabriel tribute. And so, yeah, well, I was going to ask because it is. So this one at the at the West, uh, yeah, Westport Playhouse, it's uh, Sting and Peter Gabriel tribute yes. to some of the, I mean, they're geniuses anyway. Um, But yeah, definite 80s staple, of course. Right. And everyone knows these songs. You'll be sitting in the crowd and be like, I don't think I'd, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. I remember that one. Yeah. It's a whole night of that. It's crazy because we'll put, you know, there'll be a new song they put in, in rotation on the station. And I'm like, I don't know this song. And then exactly that'll happen. I'll start listening going, I remember oh, yeah. it now. Wow. Yes. How cool. There it is. I think the best is my son studies music. He studied at Webster University. Now he's in at Boston to be an educator in music. What a great, he yeah. loves the 80s. He's a keyboardist. And, loves the 80s. And I go, thank you, because we were dissed for so long. Well, <laughs> the, the thing is, Judy, that our kids, I'm, I'm in my late 40s, yep. and I've got a 24-year-old son yeah. Mm-hmm. Who, who knows all these songs? And right, it wasn't it great? me. That, that's what I mean. Right, telling him you got to listen to this. No. It just happens. Happens. Yep. And it's crazy. It, like, osmotic. The, <laughs> there's so much '80s in our lives. You yes. Hear it in the grocery store, the gas pump. You know, it's all over, and you're like, oh, I love that song. <laughs> I think a lot of it too stems from. The fact that um, it's happy, there's a happy time, so, you know, it, um, something about the positivity of it. And we need that now for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, the years after I, I've been in original music bands and through the years performing in St. Louis for 30 years now. Wow. And 
I've seen a lot of ebb and flow in cover bands and like what really does well and mm-hmm. and the longevity. Like our our colleagues in the music scene, like the the that eighties band and uh, you know just the the Doctors of Vegases. These are yeah. bands that. They've been around for 25, 35 years. And still Why? selling out. Because people love that music, you know. This. Yes. So the yeah. retro nerds were having a very good year. That's fantastic. Well, we're yeah. excited because you're going to be again at the Westport Playhouse. Um, there might be some other opportunities I can't say yet. Closer to us, meaning where I heart is. Yes. Going, we're going like this. Um, great places. But but you're basically, this is is... You've been able to do this and and make a living at it. People can do that. We, <laughs> I love it. We, yeah, we're um, at the point now where the band, we're all still gainfully employed during the week. Mm-hmm. And the weekend, we, we go and we go to Iowa and Illinois and Kansas. And, you know, we're out in the region doing mm-hmm. shows now whereas before we were primarily playing in st louis missouri all the time and um that that's great but you know iowa city is a great place too and so yes. we go to quincy and, and <laughs> we're on so. in um we're on in a uh, in uh gosh i have to think ohio we're on in uh, texas corpus christi uh omaha nebraska i have to think of where we're at um so this is why, I, yeah, it's, they have great, they have such great, um, just great talent there, but, um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be going other places. You guys are good from what I have seen. I'm excited right. to see you live and on your website is this repertoire of music like that you play. Oh my gosh. Like you said, I go, I remember that. I want to see it. I want to see it. Cause we can't see it live anymore, but we could see you guys see it doing it. Right. Right, uh, like we so go cool. from Run DMC to the Arrhythmics to oh, wow. Madonna to uh, you know, you name it. it it's, so, do you dress like with the cones and stuff? No, <laughs> with Devo the hats. <laughs> you know, yeah. I love the Devo. No, I'm thinking Madonna, the cones, the other ones. <laughs> Don't do that. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you said Madonna. I mean, you know. Right. I know. I know. It, you, you, there's a fine line. <laughs> we 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 definitely have like the touchstones of the era covered. Yeah. That's and awesome. then we go into a little deep dive with uh, you know, like the Devo and uh, the kind of off the beaten path. Yeah. Yeah, which is fine. I, I, you know, I, I, I've been saying to our programmer, I've worked at this station for four years. And I go, we've not played Devo once, once. We're an '80s, '90s station. What's going on? It's every time you I think know. of '80s, that's the number yeah. one song I think of, right? They don't listen. To I me. agree. I know. I agree. Which is why you're here, so we can <laughs> <laughs> watch you guys. How did you guys meet? Their time will come. Yes, it will. So the band, the band has been in existence for eleven years now, mm-hmm. and me personally, six years ago, I was invited to join, and it has been in a wild ride in I the last, last six years. We've touched, gone from just playing in our little neighborhood bars in St. Louis to playing theaters in other cities around the Midwest. And wow. uh, the Retro Nerds is, it's its a very comfortable family to be in. Being a nerd is very good. Tell me about <laughs> it. it. Took long enough, though. I know, it just, it, it's coming around. And we, in community events, like we do around the St. Louis area, Creve Corps and mm-hmm. Chesterfield and um, out in O'Fallon, like we hand out these glasses. These, these nerd glasses. Oh, I love them. You know, with our, our website on it. And our oh, sponsors. that's fantastic. <laughs> I'm and trying to, it's, and you look a little bit, what's the guy's name? Um, 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 oh, Rick, Rick Rolled. Rick Rolled, I'm thinking. People of wear the glasses in the sh- 
You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, yes, Lee. Thank you. Never going to give you. Never going to give you up, Judy. <laughs> yes, thank you. Never. You know, <laughs> I was so happy when nerds came in because I am a total, complete nerd. Um, I'm a gamer since, you know, when we were doing gamers before it was a big thing now. It's a big thing. Um, you know, Pac-Man, all that right. stuff. So right. I love that. And and I love um I love your your performances from what I just from what I saw. You bring a lot of stuff to the stage. We, you know, it's uh, again, you gotta you gotta bring to bear everything that you can in St. Louis, Missouri, because this mm. is a very discriminating finicky town when it comes to their music because mm -hmm. there's so much going on and yes to differentiate ourselves we bring out the video wall and we have our own lighting and the videos that go along with our performance like everything is synced up wow so when i'm when i'm singing peter gabriel like that's to what he's performing on his video his mouth wow. is moving with my mouth. <laughs> That's amazing. And you have such a range. It's, uh, it, it's a great incredible. time. How do you do that? <laughs> For a singer, it's yeah. very good to I'd... be a part of this. Well, you get you're to fantastic. Go, thank you. You get yeah. to go high and low all, yeah. like, all the time, man. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. And, and just from what I saw. And so, yeah, if people want to see you, there is a website, retronerds.com. TheRetroNerds.com, yes. The Retro. Yeah. Retro, the Retro. Okay, I'll make sure there it's on is. the. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and and I I, th I think this is great. I'm really excited to see it. I'm excited for everybody to see it and just to get the word out a little bit. Um, oh, thank you. you. I know it's going to be hard. I won't make you pick one. Pick, give me three top songs from the 80s that you love to perform. You know, I'm a big... Um, punk rock kid i was in an up. alternative i called it alternative but i guess yeah 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 so punk rock, we, know, i'm from la originally so whatever uh, Sid Vicious, we, we love to stuff. do the yeah. clash the cure mm -hmm. oh my gosh the cure don't yeah. get me started i know like uh in another part of my life i have another band that does tributes to all of those oh. the Radiohead, The Cure, The Ramones, The Clash, The Specials. Oh, oh and, wow. Good stuff. Yeah. You know, it's so like the, the Arrhythmics. Mm -hmm. uh, I love to sing that. And of course, Journey. I love to sing Journey. It's a hard stuff to sing Journey. I mean, oh. but Everybody's yeah. like separate ways. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> dun, people dun, love dun, this dun. full voice. They yeah. sing along. <laughs> That's true. Journey is good. Of rhythmics. Yeah. I love, I love Annie Lennox. Yeah, she's got a daughter who sings now. Oh, and yeah. I just discovered and I went oh as good, God. if not better. If not better. Our, Don't tell Annie I said that. Our kids are like that. I know. I know. Like yeah. It, which is good. You want that, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. So great. Now Sting, um, what did you have to do to prepare to sing for Sting? Because he has a really interesting sound. In this show we mm -hmm. do selections from the first two of his albums so okay um this is heavily influenced by like progressive jazz there's a lot of like our our bass player mike has an upright bass that he plays nice. um it, it's a whole different sound than when we were growing up and listening to the police mm -hmm. where they had some some ska, some reggae, yeah, uh, like Caribbean feel, and then straight ahead, driving four on the floor, punk rock mm -hmm. influence. That's that's something you totally do a one eighty with yeah. the early years of Sting, and mm -hmm. it was um, very thoughtful. All the lyrics are um, there's a lot to unpack there for mm -hmm. me as oh, a I singer. Can imagine. Yeah, uh, I I got up in my feels. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so in oh, it's emotional. Oh, it is, his stuff is yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. So I had to like sing through it and get over that, and now I'm in a good place. Uh, I call it my happy place vocally, mm -hmm. 
where I, I can sing it and with as much intensity as he does mm-hmm. um, to try to, you know, lend reverence to the material. But wow, it, it goes a lot of places for a lot of different people. He's very talented. And, totally. And, and Peter Gabriel. Um, how right. how do you think? So I don't know a ton of Peter Gabriel, to be honest. I, yeah. I feel bad. And and you you might it might be one of those things where I go, wait, I do know Peter Gabriel. I don't know. I so I'm going, how did do. you think? You think so? Oh yes. So um, for example, you know big time. Mm-hmm. Big time. Uh yeah. sledgehammer, of course. Oh, of course, yeah. Um uh, shock the monkey. Oh yeah. Shock wait, that's monkey. Peter Gabriel? Yeah. See, yeah. I didn't know that. Red rain is falling down. Red rain. That, that that's what we start the show with. Cool. And I I think you would know more than you currently think you do. Probably. I probably just haven't heard it in a while or didn't know because I know I had right. a very a, one of my very good friends was a huge Peter Gabriel fan at the time. Oh yeah. And I was listening that she was into that and she wouldn't listen to my like punk whatever you want to call it. English underground music, whatever. Right. Be like, you know, she'd be like, I don't like this stuff. I could listen. <laughs> or I mean, like talking about tunes in that vein, the Smiths mm. and Morrissey. Wow. And, Morrissey. Uh, wow. That's, yeah. That's a that's a guilty pleasure of mine. I, yeah. I love to sing Morrissey, but oh wow. Good stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. Well, then you'll have to do some tribute to uh, some of that eventually. <laughs> well, you said Which you have a band. I already do. Yeah, so let me know when you do that, too. But this <laughs> is about the retro nerds. Don't want to take away from that. <laughs> right, right. And uh, any upcoming dates beside that? Is it all on your website, theretronerds.com? It is. And okay. it goes out uh, two months. Okay. But we're booked throughout 2023. We have like five dates available. So wow. again, it's a good year to be a nerd. Yay. <laughs> I love that. Hey, speaking of which, I know you hand out the glasses and, and they can right. buy, I'm certain they can buy merch. Do people come back? Yeah. Okay. You can. Like, we you know, the a one-sided poton. Okay. I was just gonna say. Right, right. Or or stickers, you know. Oh, those are cool. <laughs> I love those. That's that's me. cool. Oh, that's <laughs> You decide to be picky. It looks just like you, by the way. <laughs> High blood pressure, right? You know. Now you came <laughs> about. Now wait, you came up with that way before Beat Saber because it looks kind of similar to Beat Saber's. Look. Right. <laughs> you should go, hey right. guys. You know, a yeah, local which... artist named Will Horton made that for us. Will's an amazing graphic designer in St. Louis. Obviously, because he really got the the feel of the 80s with the font and the colors and everything. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I'm excited about this. Again, it's The Retro Nerds, a tribute to Sting and Peter Gabriel, February 3rd and 4th. Thewestportplayhouse.com to get tickets. But I would check out theretronerds.com because they might get sold out. And and your other shows, are you going to do another show like Sting and Peter, Peter Gabriel or... We Probably. Are I mean, you've already practiced it, I would think. Coming up in April, if I may, uh huh. Um, Friday, April 7, we are playing a new venue in that community called the Blue House Theater. Ooh. And we're doing this very same show, Sting and Peter Gabriel, that evening. So, so where is the Blue House Theater? More to come on that. Um, oh, that is in yes. Warrington, Missouri. Oh, cool. Okay. Warrington, Warrington, Missouri, of all places. Yeah. Yep. I love to so, go to Warrington. So I'm there a lot. So we get all out all over the place. I, I lived there for five years. Uh, I was, yeah, in Warrington for five years. And now I'm playing a rock show there. <laughs> wow. That's fantastic. When I when I was out there, no, nothing was out there. Yeah. Well, you know, we get all the time. We go, you know, um, we have such great music. 90s, even 90s, really. Um, But we don't get to see it live because a lot of people, they're not together anymore or unfortunately they're gone or, you know, they just don't tour. So this is a great way to see the bands that you grew up with that you loved, the music, perform great and, and relive it again. 
you know, the the interesting stories through our years, Judy, in the business. Mm-hmm. Um, the band has been together for a period of time where couples who met at our shows are coming up to us and we're like, we're celebrating our fifth year wedding anniversary. Aww. We met at your show. And that's cool. <laughs> so that's this cool. music, it like people had emotional connection to these oh, tunes. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so it, it's like, it's a whole feel fest yeah. all night. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Yeah. Well, it's, well, maybe I'll meet my Mr. Right. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> You never know. You never know. Uh, keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited for you. And um, again, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Am I missing thank anything? You. So, no, no. With, with you, You've touched on all uh, awesome. the details. The, the Westport Playhouse for tickets. Mm-hmm. Uh, the WestportPlayhouse.com. Um, there are... 40 tickets left to wow. each night. Oh, wow. So That's not a lot. Get on it. I yeah. mean, yeah. we may open up like 10 or 20 more seats, but you might have to. We may. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, apparently, I haven't been, like you said, it's redone, but I was um, told by somebody, I don't remember who, who went and they said, oh my gosh, it doesn't matter where you sit, you can see now. Whereas oh, it's before amazing. it was, there was that one pole that was there, and it right. was like you couldn't or like. Yeah. So yeah, you're like what the yeah. I, I paid how much for this? Yeah, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, well so, now yeah. it's a listening environment. It's wow. uh, everybody has a nice plush seat, and you have great sight line to everyone on stage. I love it. That's fantastic, and the prices are very good. So uh, I don't know how. Thank you. Thank you. They're so good. I couldn't believe it. I go, how Thank you for pointing that more? out. Yeah. We deliberately set that. Really? Um, yeah. A, as a band in St. Louis, we know that there's a lot of workforce challenge mm-hmm. with venues and restaurants and people in general going out to live shows. And we're like, let's take the barrier away. Oh, that's so awesome. Let's sell it out. Yeah. And this is a big night. Like when Huge. you spend money and time to go see a show, you got to get a babysitter. You got to yeah. get, you know, prepare. Mm-hmm. So this is you know. very affordable nights out and do an early, an early uh, Valentine's or something with exactly. your honey or your BFF or whatever, or go right. alone, you know, right. Just have fun. Gallant times. <laughs> That's right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Go see the retro nerds. I'm so glad I got to talk to you. I hope this isn't the last time. It will not be. You, you and James. I, I believe, will cross paths very soon again. I'm sure we will. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Jason.